How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with some more Orbit Culture. This is Mute the Silent. A comment suggestion in the comments. Uh, thank you for your suggestions. Keep them coming. This is the official music video. I'm hyped. Let's get into it. I'm probably flying through that entire catalog at this point. I cannot wait for them to keep dropping new music. Uh, their latest EP has been an absolute banger. So uh, yeah, let's go back in time. This is Mute the Silent. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. That's the third change to the beat. What the hell is this sci-fi? Oh. Oh. Wait, is it like an android with human skin face? The freaking change-ups to the beat? Oh my god. Like they're going from modern heavy metal to like 80s Metallica back to modern. Oh. This this is like a very thrash, 80s thrash. Oh. Holy shit. Run, dude. Why are they hunting him, though? Oh. Oh. This guy hasn't moved. Ships. Oh, you're fucked, my guy. Oh, they got it.
Invasion. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! So I mean, they were either hunting him because he's like a prisoner, or that he's like a bounty, and they're bounty hunters. But I mean, I, I think okay, maybe the lyrics have something to to say uh, about what the video was about. But mute the silence sounds like an oxymoron, but th there is there is a deeper meaning there. Because the silent are already quiet, why would you want to mute them, right? It just seems like an overarching theme of like. From the title itself, I'm saying it's it sounds like an extra level of oppression, right? It's not just be silent, mute the silent, which makes it makes me think of like kill, right? Silence them once and for all. Like it, it, it's not enough that they're quiet. We need to mute them completely, right? So an extra level of like oppressiveness from the video, whether they were hunting him because he was a bounty or they were just rounding up people because we saw at the end there was like an invasion going into that planet. Oh, killer video. This guy like a androidish looking dude with like, but like a human skin type face and with his little goons. We can't say goons anymore, can we? Man, Gen Z's ruined the word goon again. Anyway, all right, anyway, the lyrics go, Watch what you say, living and dying, swallow decay, somebody rescue me. Watch what you say, watch what you want, living and dying faster, we're dying. So, okay, you're under the eye of this oppressive force, right? So, watch what you say, watch what you want. Like, even the things you want may be construed as evil and, and yeah, if, if the, the oppressive force doesn't want you to want those things they're not going to let you right so anyway destroy this world destroy everything that comes too near for me destroy this world destroy everything that comes too near for me okay watch what you say living and dying swallow dismay ferocious hostility watch what you say watch what you need living and dying faster we're dying okay so that just that repeats and then in the bridge life in the monster's grip life in the monster's mouth so this is something like, okay, under the eye, like I said, under the eye of this massive oppressive force. But as some of you pointed out in the comments, I should note that quite a few of their songs are metaphors or uh, allegories for addiction, substance abuse, alcoholism, right? Depression, mental illness, that kind of stuff. It's not just the story that's in the lyrics, which is something I love looking for. Just if there's like a narrative, if it's just a narrative, but if the narrative has a deeper meaning and it's like a metaphor for something, that's amazing, right? So a lot of the songs are metaphors for something deeper. So this, life in the monster's grip, life in the monster's mouth, probably addiction, right? You have no control you, or you feel like you have no control because it's constant scrutiny, maybe from yourself, maybe from, you know, this outside force, whatever that may be, maybe it's addiction, right? Let's keep reading it's eating lives the mouth we feed it feeds on weakened souls i've been in the monster's grips i've been in the monster's grip i've been in circles we call life now lives the mouth we feed it feeds on weakened souls it takes us all in the monster's grip yeah so life in the monster's mouth so it like it keeps repeating on that so it could be a metaphor for addiction dealing with addiction dealing with this massive feeling like it's an oppressive force basically watch what you want watch what you say watch all of that being i guess oppressed is the wrong word because that force can be oppressive but it's just this inside voice right and that kind of mental i don't know weight for lack of a better term oppressiveness i guess but it, I, I think it is a metaphor for addiction it could be if all the other songs deal with that kind of uh stuff alcoholism drug addiction substance abuse <clears throat> this could be that too i i definitely see that the video showing it beautifully in this futuristic dystopian bounty hunter scenario where this guy is running from these hunters Ooh, sign me up for that short film that's amazing but anyway, that was Mute the Silent. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Uh, that's going to do it for me. I cannot wait to get to the next Orbit Culture song. Let me know what I should react to next. 
uh, a few of you have already given me suggestions so i'm just going to work through them but keep those suggestions coming let me know what songs i should react to next uh and yeah i might like i've seen that there are a couple of live performances that they've done i think i'm definitely going to do that too i'd love to see these guys play live so yeah probably gonna do that but anyway that's gonna do it for me for this reaction drop a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already i will see you in the next one i'll take care bye bye